Fife City fam, what is up? It is a beautiful day here in South Florida and it's about to get a lot better because it's been quite some time since we've been into Trader Joe's and I thought to mark the occasion I'd bring Erica with, who's literally gonna pop any day right now. Look at that belly, I love it. And Bradley, the cool thing is Erica lives a stone's throw away from here. And the thing is they have so many Waldos or employees there. We need all the security we can get because Brad and I were perusing their website of Trader Joe's. They got some new and exciting stuff we've never seen before so let's go in there show you what to buy what to avoid and why but I also want you to check out thrivemarket.com using my promo link down below we all love thrive they've been sponsoring the channel now for six years because everything you'd get at a grocery store like Trader Joe's or your favorite store is cheaper on thrive per order you save about $32 compared to going to the store and that box comes to your door you never have to go outside plus we got you the hookup right now and Flay City fans are loving it when you click the link down below you get 25% off your first order. You get a free gift up to $31, and it's 30 days risk-free. If you don't love it, you could always cancel and get your membership feedback, but I think you're gonna love it. Check it out using my link. Okay, less talking, more shopping. Team, let's go into Trader Joe's. Even though we're reviewing new and exciting items, these two are more excited by the fact that they didn't know you can pull out the drawers here <laughs> at Trader Joe's. They thought them were, they were stationary. No, they're not stationary. Um, but this is exciting here. So I was very, very excited to read the ingredients of this. They're making their own version of like Siete almond flour tortillas right now. There's 369 for six, which is a pretty decent price. There's only one ingredient here that really bugs me, but check out what's here. It's almond flour, tapioca starch, just like um, a Whole Foods brand or a Siete. Why are they putting natural flavors, right? As Menescalco would say, why would you do that, right? Come on, that's crazy. That being said, it's better than the alternative of this. Grain-free quinoa flour tortillas here. This one befuddles me even more because this is made with quinoa flour. It has best-in-class avocado oil. And then when you go down the list here, there's palm oil, highly processed, highly inflammatory, bad for the environment palm oil. So that's super bummer with that. So I, if you had to choose one, I would go with the almond flour. But to be honest, the Whole Foods brand one is cheaper of almond flour tortillas, and it's basically-ish the same price. You get more in the pack in Whole Foods. I just don't know why they're putting natural flavors in there. Uh, back in the day, Erica, many, many egons ago. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm getting, the, the most angle, unflattering man. angles. I'm sorry, Erica. It's okay. <laughs> back in the day when Desi and I weren't woke, we used to crush these like a boss. If you're looking for pure texture and flavor, uh, these are seasonal too. The Trader Joe's gluten-free hamburger buns are unbelievable. Oh, they're so good. Ingredients, not great, right? I've seen worse on the market, but we can do better. Uh, I'll tell you some about them uh, when we get closer to uh, summertime. But we used to crush these. Uh, now we don't do that anymore. So that's the review of the new sliding, oh, this back a bit, the sliding door here at Trader Joe's. Looky, looky here. There's a new player in the pasture-raised egg game at Trader Joe's. They got rid of Carol's or Chino Valley. They have their own Trader Joe's pasture-raised. It doesn't say anywhere about 108 square feet per hen, which is traditional for pasture-raised. I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt that it is, and it's cheap. $3.99 is really nice. I'd still prefer something like Vital Farms, but if you're at Trader Joe's, this is so much better than the $1.79 eggs, or sometimes those are 99 cents. These are factory farm GMO eggs. These are chickens that truly live outside on the pasture, eat bugs and worms, and the nutritional profile is way better. It's way worth the price. If you don't mind it, get these for sure. Okay, Erica's holding a very new exciting product here. It's this. It's New Zealand grass-fed butter. I saw it on Instagram, and it's very interesting because I have some questions about it. Number one, New Zealand has pretty much 100% grass-fed cows, and this is grass-fed butter. We want to know what the butter fat percentage is because when you're talking about European-style butter, butter fat is the king. It's way better than American-style butter, which is like that, which has more water. The thing is, it doesn't say if it's 100% grass-fed, but one Mr. Bradley just emailed uh, the uh, contact us on their website to ask them. But the price is great, $3.29. Kerrygold's a little more expensive. That's not a terrible price of Kerrygold. I see a Target has it for $4 and change. I have to find out if it's 100% grass-fed. I'm guessing the butter fat's around like 85%, but this is cool. I would get this for sure, because even Kerrygold isn't 100% grass-fed. This is the best you can do at Trader Joe's. Ah, Erica's got her mittens on something brand new. I've actually never seen this before. Have you, Erica? I have not. 
yeah. but banana fruit spread but is the operative word yeah. five grams of added cane sugar per what's the serving uh, one, one tablespoon, tablespoon. oh my crap. gosh guys five grams is just over a teaspoon it's a teaspoon and a quarter of cane sugar per tablespoon if you're putting that on toast you're probably putting what erica like two tablespoons yeah it's a lot that's a lot your own yeah ripe banana. they have so much sweetness so unfortunately we'll put that down even though it's two dollars and 49 cents that's a hard no i have not seen this before and i'm super happy it's here so this is avocado oil spray but unlike these kind of canisters which are chemical propellant spray this is the non-propellant spray and this is one of the cheapest prices i've seen outside of costco ever and it's heart healthy avocado oil also it's sourced only from mexico which is super good mexico makes the best avocados and avocado oil uh, whereas this is still olive oil that's in the non-propellant can, which is nice, but this olive oil here is product of Spain, but packed in Mexico. There's too much non-traceability there, and there's a wide variety of uh, quality from Spain. So I would put that back, get the avocado oil spray. What's going on here? Mustard. Oh, there we go. It's good. We'll help her out. Every time we film at the store, people always assume we work here. But the thing is, we know where everything is, so I'm more than happy to help people anyway. Um, this is a new item. Okay, very exciting. So this is bolognese, and I've never seen a meatless bolognese pasta before. Now, this one is interesting. It's not Bobby approved, but it's not terrible. So what they're doing here is I like they're using whole peel tomatoes. Any good marinara-based sauce is going to use whole peel tomatoes, not tomato puree or chopped tomatoes. Um, the plant-based crumbles are pea protein, their vegetable oil, canola, which is not great, coconut oil, which is good, natural flavors, there is extra virgin, which is nice. So it's not terrible, but if you're plant-based, it's one of the only options on the market. But this is cool. This is actual a beef bolognese here. And by the way, the meatless is $3.99. The meat, the meat is cheaper, go figure out that one. The bolognese sauce is so close to being Bobby approved. Once again, it's peeled whole tomatoes in puree that's fine it's still peeled whole tomatoes um look at this they're only using extra virgin olive oil there but the beef is just regular beef there it's not um grass-fed or organic so unfortunately that's like factory farm beef but everything else is clean so if you need to get one this is by far one of the cleanest ones i've seen and for meatless you want to go for that one so fun fact whenever i'm traveling i try to find a trader joe's and i take a shot of this every day i've talked about it in the past but these acerola vitamin C shots are legit. Acerola is the South American cherry that has way more vitamin C than um, like uh, juice, orange juice, a thousand percent of your daily value per shot. But this is new. Look at Brad saw. Suja, which I love has cold pressed juices, has a vitamin D and zinc shot. So if you really wanted to boost your uh, immune system, you would do a shot of that combined with a shot of that because every day, especially in the winter time, I take a vitamin C made of uh, acerola with my vitamin D and my zinc, which is the ultimate immune system booster, which means more shot, 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 shot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Not only is Walk Like an Egyptian playing right now, but Bradley just found one of the coolest things I've ever seen at Trader Joe's. It's called fruise balls. And I walked by here and I was like, oh, these are probably palm oil and cane sugar and whatnot. That just blew my mind. Look at this. It's dates, it's peanuts, it's coconut, apple juice, strawberry, pear puree, elderberry, which is actually really good for you too, and Himalayan pink salt. What the what? This is crazy. We have to do a taste test right now in store. We haven't done this. We haven't done this in a while. This <laughs> one sprayed bread in the face. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. Sorry to bother you. It's an session. Okay, so I can't seem to find which one it is. Oh, really? It is Chang is the best here. The nicest Trader, Trader Joe's <laughs> employee ever. Yeah, this is the best. This is not the norm, but Chang is the best. I love it. What is it? What's going on? <laughs> oh, a little photo session here. Oh! <laughs> okay, nicest Trader Joe's ever. Instead of picking us out, they're like taking pictures with us and saying hi. But more importantly, buy these. Oh my god, they're so good and the macros are insane. Uh, maybe I've been sleeping on this item. Maybe Brad's been sleeping on it. But has anyone seen this before? 
This is herb tahini sauce. I love tahini sauce. Tahini is a basically a peanut butter version of sesame seeds. And it's got amazing ingredients. Look at that. There's actually no oil. There's no natural flavors. There's no rice bran oil. And tahini is this bitter, nutty kind of spread. And they put it with some herbs. This would be great for lamb chops or to dip some vegetables in. Never seen it before. Gonna try that for summertime grilling and chilling. This is cool. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys, that is it for the Trader Joe's What to Buy Now, along with new exciting items. Big thanks to Erica for who's going to pop any minute, but she came out to give us some support. I gave her the most unflattering looks today, so let's give her a really good one up here, like on Instagram, right? Um, if you want to see other grocery stores, leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, share. That's the only way the community keeps growing. But for Bradley, Erica, myself, and the whole crew, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later.